the point of the talk is for some of you it's, there's going to be no point and for some of you it's going to be completely irrelevant. Um, I'm just here to talk about realisation. So I'll present some information which no doubt you'll have heard but it will be my spin on the subject and it will be um, what you want to make of it because I'm playing about with something new at the moment whereby I am talking but I'm not really wanting to give anything out or any information because, you know, to quote Osha, you have far too many answers anyway. So what I'm looking to do is kind of hear from you to the point where you find that the experience that I'm pointing out, that I'm speaking about, is actually happening in your own existence. The, the thing with that is that it may start a journey within you or it may help you realise that what you're seeking is actually you. So that you never really need to come into another talk again. And if you do, you're, you're coming here because you're appreciating what's happening here as opposed to looking for an answer in any way, shape or form. So the end game here is you don't say, well, what would Zaheer think about a certain situation or what does he think of this? It's, well, what do I think? Mm -hmm. And that's where it gets interesting because you become a question and answer on yourself. You become that candle that is illuminating others, but also illuminating yourself. You become a light onto yourself and others. You become realized to the nature of your own reality. So this idea of self-realization occurs. Um, I do jump traditions. I do move between different spiritualities, sorry, different philosophies. I'm finding even that's going now as well, and I'd rather just have a conversation because I think no spiritual pointer or teacher or guide will ever kind of beat the intimacy of a conversation conversations can get hard because you may be holding something you may be bottling something up so <clears throat> yeah okay i know what you're doing here you know i i know why you're here i know exactly why you're holding on to that anger or that grief or this or whatever it's not about me telling you that now you've got to discover that in yourself which makes this probably a bit difficult because i'm, I'm putting the onus on you now whereas before i would have just said no don't do it this way so Imagine this is just, I don't know, a place where you can play and be yourself. Um, my only job is to make sure you don't jump out the window or, or do anything like wreck the furniture. So I'm just here kind of in a sense just supervising, which can be, if it's heard right, well, that's great because it's giving you an opportunity to see who you are, you know, which is the important thing. So the most important person in the room is you. you know, you're the most important person in the room. You know, th this just happens to be a person who's speaking, who's just guiding proceedings and the focal point or, or what have you. I, I probably won't tell you stories of long far away Indian gurus because you've probably read all of that stuff. So it's more about what were they pointing to? What were they living in? Is this reality actually real? And can you actually realize this reality? Because I spent eight years with a Sufi master sitting there looking up at him, doing everything he wanted me to do. And then one day I had this realization that I actually wanted what he had. I wanted to know what he knew. Otherwise, why was I sitting there? Why was I when I was cleaning toilets or cleaning the floor? I wasn't there for service. I wanted to know what he, he wanted, you know, what, what he had. So that was most of the journey finished then. And then the other bit was to try and figure it out. And the other bit trying to figure out led me to sit with other teachers across different traditions, which ultimately led me back to a sofa back home on country where I realized they were all saying the same thing. And in that realization, they were saying the same thing. The idea of me and the idea of seeking disappeared completely disappeared and then started speaking to people. So I, I don't have a spiritual pedigree in the traditional sense of the word, in the sense that I've got certificates and I'm going to say I did this, but I sat with some amazing teachers and I, and I was I was taught in a way where I didn't realize what I was taught. In other words, the teacher had already negated this role in the whole situation. They say the best of teachers is one who teaches you in a way whereby you feel you realize yourself. If you feel you realize this yourself, what's really good is you don't. You then will <coughs> You will respect me, but you won't need me. Which frees up my time to talk to other people, but it also frees up your time to live the life that you really want to do. So this is not about death here, and the death of mind and ego and all that stuff. We've all heard that, we've read the books. This is about life in the truest sense of the word, so that when you leave, you're gonna live. Or at least something will have started in you where you will want to look at yourself as you actually truly, truly are, as opposed to the stories that you're playing. So that's what I'm, in a sense, trying to, you know, well, hoping to achieve today. If it's one conversation, that's great. If it's a thousand conversations, it's great. But I will always point to the same thing. I'm, I'm not going to make it about anything but, but you.
about this reality. That's all that matters. My, my existence is about this reality. Everything I'm doing is about this reality. There isn't really anything else. If I'm in a relationship, it's because of this reality. If I'm in love, it's because of this reality. And it's the only focus, it's the only thing that you should really concern yourself with, to know thyself. Not know the teacher, not know this approach, not dress, act, or be a certain way, but to know yourself. And, you know, who could that be? And the beautiful thing about that is that that knowing will continue. So it's a gift that keeps on giving. It's not a one-point realisation and everything's lovely. So life doesn't get easier, and sometimes it gets harder, but you see the opportunities there for you to continually grow, continually see who you are. So it's like having a mirror, seeing your face in that mirror, and then continually seeing your face, and then continue letting things go, and, and constantly growing and becoming a better person, a bigger person, you know? So I, I'm in a phase at the moment of just constant, constant, constant change. And it's just interesting, because a couple of years ago, I was on a, I was on a street corner talking to one person, just trying to get through the day. So, it's been an interesting journey. Now, you know where I'm at is I, I, I would like to see what people think of this, and, and how's it, how they're experiencing it. So <clears throat> you're the most important person in the room today. It, this entire talk came for you. It didn't come for anybody else. It came for you. You know, every every Veda, every Gita, every Quran, every Bible, every spiritual philosophy came for you. So it's about recognizing that they came for you because you were that special, not in the egotistical way, but you were that special. God spoke to you to remind you of what you were. So it's about figuring out who you think you are and who you don't think you are. So it's it's just reality based. So I, I, I'm not gonna add fluff to it. I don't really want to. I just don't feel certain things are now irrelevant. The talk I did on in Bristol as I walked on, so there's so many things I wish to say, but I just know just by the dynamic of the engine room I can't. And that led to something else completely. So yeah. That, that's what it's about. It's it's about well, where do we go here? What conversation is going to happen? How how is this going to be drawn out? Who's going to talk to me about who they are and their experience? So it's a meeting, but it's also a one-on-one -on -one as well. So you can hide if you want to hide. That's cool. You can do all of that, but you're just delaying the inevitable, which is sooner or later you're going to know yourself. You're going to have to know yourself because be very careful what you wish for, and if you don't want to know yourself, don't sit in places like this because that's all the focus. I'm never going to talk about Coronation Street with you. It's not going to happen. Or I went through Lincolnshire once. It's, it's, that's not my relationship with you. And that's not the relationship I want because it's a waste of my time and it's a waste of yours as well. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking to do. And I know exactly what I'm doing as I'm talking like this in generalities and whatever, because somebody will want to do something now. And we'll see where it goes. Mm -hmm.